Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great Ask a Ninja from Donald in Milton, Delaware. He's wanting to know if you have a large crawl space with a dehumidifier in the center of the crawl space, is it a good idea to install circulation fans throughout the crawl space to make sure that the dry air makes it to all areas of the crawl space? Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about crawl space encapsulation, waterproofing, indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, follow us on Facebook, check out our DIY store, and also our franchise opportunity. Donald, that is a great question. So uh, if you've got a really, really large crawl space and your dehumidifier is properly sized for that crawl space, just remember, we've done a couple of videos about this before, the wet air will chase the dry air, okay? So if you've got a corner of the crawl space that's 70% humidity and the center of the crawl space is 60% humidity, that 70% humidity is going to make its way to that 60% and eventually get dried out. It's sort of like uh, you see on the weather, how you got the high pressure system chasing the low pressure system. Now, that being said, if you've got a crawl space that's fairly large, we've got some pretty large crawl spaces uh, around Knoxville, 3,500 square feet. They've got big trunk lines of ductwork running all through them, chopping them up and making them difficult to circulate air. Then we believe that either circulating the air is a good idea and maybe in some instances installing a secondary dehu, depending on how large the crawl space is. If you've got a crawl space that's 3,500 square feet or larger, you may be better off with two April Air E70s versus one April Air E100 to make sure that the air is, is dry in sections of the crawl space. Now, if you want to install a really large dehumidifier like the E100 or the E130 and install a whisper fan, and the beauty about the whisper fan is I'm gonna put a link to it down below, is it is a four inch ductable fan. So you can actually have T's and Y's and all these other ducting traveling all over your crawl space and it blows about 200 CFM of air. So you put that whisper fan right next to that dry area of that dehumidifier and you can run that dry air anywhere you want in that crawl space without having to run multiple fans. There, I'm not against multiple fans, but just remember the more fans you run, the more electricity you're gonna use, you know, the more maintenance or the more likely of one of those fans going out. So if you have one fan that you can duct to all areas of the crawl space, that would be my recommendation. And of course, you can also duct the April air dehumidifier. So you can put a Y on the end of the dehumidifier on the outblowing side. You can have a trunk that blows to that really wet part of the crawl space to make it drier. And then you can have uh, the Y blowing next to the crawl space so that it is ducting dry air where you want it to as well. So hopefully that information helps you out. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.